Hey everyone, uh, I'm Mike Green and I'm Daniel Lever and today we're going to be going through a mock-up level showing off some troop types and going into a bit more detail about the control scheme. So this is, this is a level uh, that was actually used uh, by the artist to create one of the scenes uh, in our pitch video uh, but the version you're about to see isn't going to look half as nice but it will do in the final game. This is what we call uh, in the industry a white box. So a white box is basically pure geometry and level layout without any art assets other than placeholder things and just, just the basics to give you the idea of what's going on. So you know we have quite rudimentary trees and um, a simple layout. So I'm just going to fly through this level so we've got some sim guys flying about. So this just kind of shows off um, sort of the size of levels we'd like to build in the game. Um, and actually the, the, the goal for the player in this one is, is to get to this, um, to this fort here and there'll be a nobleman um, that you're trying to target. Um, but obviously there's going to be a, a whole adventure in between uh, getting to him. So over the next four weeks we're going to present four videos, or is it three videos? Three uh, or four? Three or four. Uh, videos which break up this level into bite-sized chunks. We can talk about each part in, in different degrees. Uh, so this, this week's one is all about control and the simple infected mechanics. Yeah. Okay, right, so I'm, I'm driving, so I will try and remember to talk uh, at various points. Okay, so uh, we start off with, uh, in this level with two infected uh, troops, and um, we'll just show you a bit more of the control scheme. So, you can see the mouse cursor here, we're using the keyboard to, to pan and rotate. Um, and if you left click, we get death, and we can actually fly them around. We get, uh, get the, the trail. And if we do that near any infected, then they'll respond and they'll, they'll stop following it. So here we go. Let's just draw that around. Let's just get a little bit closer. There we go, look, they were walking around on the trail. What's nice is once they reach the end of this trail, they'll stop and they'll await any new orders or fresh sort of um, interaction from you. However, if you close the loop, Let's do that again, let's just do a small one. You'll teach them to go around in a circle and continue to loop until you tell them otherwise. Which is quite nice for keeping them on a patrolling loop mm -hmm. or, you know, um, telling them to perhaps walk around dangers in the centre, who knows. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is uh, build up our troops in the level and uh, conveniently placed over here are some villagers. Now in the final game, these guys, you know, are probably going to be like fishermen. They'll be at the market stalls, you know, um, peddling all their goods. Um, but we've got, you know, quite a simple sim at the moment. So let's uh, run our guys in there and see what happens. So as you can see, um, the infected will run for the peasants. They'll knock them down. They'll hit them. They'll claw at them. They'll basically do the a general kind of clawing animation, but. In the final game, there will be combat, which is not something we've shown yet because, of course, we haven't done it yet. This is a very early prototype. And uh, this guy over here, oh, you're trying to get out. Yeah, you've got him. Excellent. Okay, so let's uh, get some of these guys over here. Excellent. So, what's next? So, uh, well, one thing to be, we need to be wary of. Oh, sorry, I got this guy. Is that actually a section of the wall here is missing? So we need to be careful because these guys, you know, when they when they're not under command, they'll they'll sort of walk about, they'll lie down a bit, and if they walk off the edge, they're going to drown. So infected hate water, don't they? Like they're yeah. um, allergic to water. They are allergic to water. So we've got two paths here. Uh, there's some mean-looking guys up here that I don't think we're going to be strong enough to deal with. So we'll we'll talk about those guys later on. Um, so let, let's go over here. This, this looks interesting. Got some more guys to infect. So, like, rather than click a few times, then Mike, you're able to just do one big sweeping gesture towards the uh, towards exactly. the peasants. All oh, right, and they're getting beaten up and turned. Yeah, nice. We've got yourself a little horde now. Okay. Okay. So the next thing we're going to show off. Um, really interested in creating. Um, you know, it's not just combo. We want to have you know little puzzles and things in the levels. Uh, and this is pretty much as basic as it gets. This is a, um, a physics game. So uh, we have a gate here, which is actually blocking our path into the market stall, which we'll look at in a second. Um, 
but this gate is attached to this crank. So by getting your little guys to walk around in a circle, they'll physically pull the crank and, and, and what do you want, rotate it, twist yeah. it, and open the gate, which is great because it means that they have physics and they have a real presence. But let's just um, bring these guys over here. Let's try and let's try and send them back the other way and we can, right, we can, we can close it. So we can close it. And you might actually want to do, you know, you might start in a level where actually you're going to be under attack, you know, within two minutes and you've, you've got to go around shutting these places um, down to stop, um, you know, the humans from getting to you. So we think there's lots and lots we can do um, uh, with these kind of mechanics. Uh, and over the course of the coming weeks, we, sh we should be showing you a few surprises uh, using them. And importantly, in big enough numbers, they'll behave almost like um, fluids. They'll be able to like push down barriers yeah. or collapse, you know, um, fortifications that the humans have created. So it's quite nice to have a big bunch of them. Yeah. So speaking of humans, Okay, so here we have um, you know a, a, mar a town market square, and in the final game, so all these orange buildings here, these are going to be houses. You know, there'll be doors and windows, uh, and these guys, you know, they'll get hungry, they'll get tired, they'll they'll go home to, to go and sleep. Um, so again, we've just got them on sort of simple. You know, they're just simply nabbing around the level at the moment. Um, so should we send our guys in? Let's mess their day up. Okay. Like. Send some guys up here. Okay, and you can break off those guys. Nice, look at that. Okay, one down. So the whole idea of this, it's a bit chaotic at the moment. The whole idea is that you'll be able to send your troops in from a direction and then their natural instinct will take over and they'll start um, clawing and, mm. and attacking the, the, the humans. But of course, you know, the humans aren't particularly dangerous. So this isn't a risky thing. We're letting them run from free because this is relatively painless for them. They'll just run through and, and the peasant runs screaming. Um, oh, we've got to be careful. Ah, no! Okay, get away from the water. Okay. Let's try and get this guy over here. So yeah, we, what we don't, we don't want the humans to drown. You know, we'll still get their songs, but you know, they won't be infected anymore. Um, and we, we kind of need, we need the numbers. That's right, humans are actually a very important resource in our game. Uh, other games that you, you look for, like, um, you know, wood and gold. But our resources are human bodies, because of course every human that drops um, to your infected will become infected and, and come back as a soldier in your army. So, okay, right, what's going on? Okay, right, we so have lost a few. A few we've then, right? lost a few. Okay, so this is one of the units in the game. Uh, it looks like they've shot each other. Uh, <laughs> that won't happen in the final game. Um, so archers are pretty. They're 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 quite dangerous. Um, so let's just. just there. So one of the things I'll quickly show show off is um, so we've got this sort of painting mechanic you can put it down, but if we hold the mouse button down, so let's, uh, let's do it over here. We can actually attract our guys and uh, bring them in. Towards Groom. Let's see if we can bring these ones in. Try keep these guys up here. Come on, guys. We've got quite a horde now, Mike. This is that's a lot of numbers there. Yeah. Oh damn, that guy just. Okay, let's just just retreat. Okay, you can see the corpses all littered around here uh, from the archers because archers are lethal when they've got the height advantage and when they're not under pressure. They're, they're, they're okay, these guys. They're not soldiers. They're sort of, mm. um, what would you call them, militia or some kind of like... Oh, oh okay. look out, they're right, still sniping. Okay, right, okay. right, oh, just, no, let's let's just, fall. Let's just let's get, get them moving. Get them moving okay, to the moving target. Okay, right. You know, they're, they're not a bad shot, but um, later in the game we'll have musketeers will have people who are trained and will obviously be able to find a pressure. However, we know that these guys will freak out if they're put under any kind of pressure, so yeah. let's look for another way to get to them. Okay, so there's there's this little path running up the side here, so let's let's just... Send convenient. It. it is very convenient that it's there. Okay, let's, uh, let's get these guys round. Excellent, look at that. Hopefully they'll not lose too many. Oh, too bad, he didn't okay. make it. Okay, they, oh. <laughs> okay. That's it's, right, it's okay. quite dark, but also right. hilarious. Right. Okay. So now you should see them start to break and they'll run because, of course, they have very little close combat ability. Um, I this is a, a this is all over for them, I think. Like, yeah. So. Okay. Doomed. All right. So let's gather the guys back up in a second over there. Right. I think they're just uh, ch <laughs> chomping on that guy. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna, okay. They're all gonna fall. It's a bundle. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, so, archers have been tackled with, uh, dealt with even, sorry, tackled, leaving the, um, the crank free now. Okay, so it's safe to turn this. 
Of course, the whole purpose here was that if we tried to turn this crank while under fire, they would have just riddled our guys with arrows. Exactly. They wouldn't have made it. And actually, we haven't... I mean, there were a lot of people here in this level, and, I mean, how many guys have we got left? Not not very many. A handful. Um, oh, OK, there's still, there's still some up here, though. Um, obviously, the more, the more people we have, the, the, the more powerful we're going to be. OK, so let's... Uh, Let's get these guys turning this crank. Love that, that's really cool. Let's get these last guys. It's really good as a designer to have access to physics for gameplay. Um, it allows us to do so much more than you know just scripted sequences and things like that. So mm -hmm. it's really nice to have physics. So we're process. gonna have different, you know, there'll be port colours that are will actually lower, so you've got to keep some guys here to keep doors open, um, you know, that, that sort of thing. Okay, so, so finally we've got these guys over here, um, but we're going to show those to you next uh, in the next video. In the next instalment, yeah. keep so, that as a teaser. So if you have any questions whatsoever, uh, please email us at kickstarter at ambientstudios.co.uk. Cheers, thanks for watching. Cool. Cheers, thanks.